Good day everyone, Mr. Cargill here with our next AutoCAD video. Now for this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set layers in AutoCAD. Now first and foremost, what are layers? So what layers are, they are basically different properties for different lines. So let's say for example, you want to draw a series of lines that are orange, you want to draw a series of lines that are broken, you want to draw a series of lines that are thicker than the other lines, you can set specific layers for those lines instead of changing the properties every time you want to draw a specific line. Okay, so I'm going to show you how we go about setting up layers. So right over here, you have the this thing right here that says layers. So what you're going to do is to click right here where it says layer properties. So click on layer properties. And now up here we have some options. We can delete a layer, freeze a layer, and we can create layers. So right here, where it says new layer, and the shortcut for that is Alt plus N. Or you can just come here and just click new layer. All right, so then it says layer one. So you can name your layer. So let's say I want to call my layer construction line. So let me just name it um, construction. All right, it doesn't have to be all caps, but I just always use all caps. So once you have your layer labeled, the next thing now, you can decide what color you want your layer to be. So you can scroll across over here. So this is currently white. So let's say I don't want my construction lines to be white. I want them to be like a grayish color. So like right here. So I can choose which color I want. So you have a range of colors that you can choose from. These colors are right here because these are the most used colors. And you can, if you know the number for which color you want, you can also type in that number right here and then click OK. Good. All right. So once I have selected the color, I can scroll across and there are different options. So right here where it says line type and it says continuous, let's say I don't want it to be a continuous line. I want it to be a center line or a broken line. I can click on continuous here and I can click on load. And if I want it to be a broken line, I can click on ISO dash. And if I want it to be like a center line, I can click on center and click OK. Then right here, I can just select center and click OK. So now that line will be a center line. All right, so for the line weight, the, th the thickness of the line, depending on how thick I want the line to be, I can select any line weight that I want right here, but I'm just going to leave it as default for now. So then I can click OK. So that's all the changes that I will make. I'm not going to change the transparency or anything. I'm not going to put a description. You can put a description if you want. So that right here I could write that this line is for, this layer is for my construction lines. But I'm not going to put a description. So I'm done with that layer. So when I come over here now, if I click this drop down arrow, it's going to give me the construction layer. So I can click on that. And you can see that right here it says that this is a center line and the color of my line is gray. So I can draw that line. All right, so that would be a center line. So that's my line right here. Good, and as you can see, it is a center line. So when, once I have that selected, let's say I want to draw an X line that is white. I can just select a different layer and draw that line. So it's always good to create your layers before you start drawing so that you can just change between layers. It makes drawing a lot easier. Okay, so thank you for watching and I hope that you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to drop a like, comment and subscribe for future content. Thank you for watching and have yourselves a fantastic day.